Hello everyone out there in YouTube land, all of our tribe. Well, so there's been changes again. One more time. Oh, <laughs> changes. Changes. That's the name of our middle name. Yeah. Uh, we, we go with the flow. Now, John has been a tight wad. Um, he doesn't want to turn loose of any money. So because he didn't want to turn loose of any money, I had the idea of taking the bump out out and then adding on back here for our room. Because right out there you can kind of see the indention of the circle that's going to be our roundhouse. Our light straw clay roundhouse. I wanted this permanent building back here. Because John didn't want to spend the money to move the trailer. Now to move the trailer and to spend the money would have been a whopping copper pipe, somebody to rehook us back up again, and some more pecs just to move the water. Oh, and then we'd have to do something different for the septic. Okay? So, John, no, 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 because I think he's got, well, I know he's got problems with change. He can't quite handle no. it. No. I did not want to cut this piece out and then trash the trailer and then not be able to resell it well, for even, whatever. Even even if we weren't even talking about that, I wanted to move the trailer closer over to the trees so we could have some shade in the summertime and we wouldn't bake in this tin can like a bunch of sardines. But no, no, he, he still didn't want to move it any further. He couldn't do it, he couldn't do it. It's going to take too much copper pipe and packs and it was just going to be so hard on him and he couldn't do it. Even if I didn't say anything about removing the bump out. So, one of my good friends here, Frenchie, said, John, why don't you just build in front? Well, we can't build in front because, you know, we had the, the slider. And with the slider, we could have just added on there. But, um, so I... John came home after talking to Frenchie and said we ought to and I said well we can't because that's our home and we've already dug two foot down two foot wide and filled it with the rubble for our trench. So we couldn't put the addition on the front is what you're saying. That's what I'm saying we couldn't. Well we, well, we, we, we could have if we maybe built the circle for the house and all that time and everything we put in there to put it in a different spot. Yeah, but I really like that spot. That spot's really good, other than you can see our neighbors. Yeah. I'll, I'll fix that with trees and plants and stuff. But, so, this is our new idea. Our new idea is build the addition here. It's in a beautiful location. When the trailer's gone, it's got a beautiful view. Here. It's not far away. Beautiful from... view, let me view. Okay. Wow, it looks really similar to the old view. Except, there's a trailer in its way, and the trailer will Except be Except it's closer to the tree line, so we can get shade sooner, because we don't have, we won't be running AC most of the time. Most of the time, no AC. So it's crucial to be close to shade, and farther away from the road, I really like. And to get start getting rid of some of these metal buildings all around, we're going to add our addition here, 30 by 14. We're gonna do concrete pads, put the concrete blocks on, then build our frame, which is going to turn into be like a, a mobile home. That's what it's pretty much a little mobile home, but a mobile home nonetheless. So <clears throat> we'll do that here, and then where the slider is, we will attach it somewhere right in this area of the addition where we can walk through the slider. We'll take the slider out, add on, then we can just add the slider back in. The bump out can become a hole for the dogs. Yes, a very, our very own dedicated doggy, doggy den. Doggy den, yeah, that'll be awesome. So it'll go from here. Looks, we, looks like we got help excavating. Yes. Gussie, what are you doing? Making a miss. So the trailer will probably fit from here 35 feet down this way, and it will come alongside of here. It will go out a little bit further. Speak this way, walk backwards. It will go out a little bit further, 35 feet down this way, because my mom will be here, and I'll put her in the bedroom that we already have. So mom will be able to, the addition will stop here, 
another 12 feet will come out, which is the bedroom area, and then she'll have a view both ways with a cross breeze, which is awesome. She'll have a nice view, and on that end, when we move the trailer, and in the front, will be a 14 by 8 um, deck on the southeast corner that attaches to a 4 by 8 deck on the east corner. And then we'll drive up, instead of using this road, this road, our driveway, will go away because <clears throat> at some point I'm going to get alpaca and water buffalo. And I don't want them going down into our spring area. So I'll fence down there. I'll leave all of this up here for the animals and we'll drive up down below, come up and pull in and park. I'll also move all of our chicken coops and everything over towards this side so they are t they too are in the shade during the hottest part of the day. Well, this is where the chickens hang out throughout the day anyway. Right. They, they, as a matter of fact, the chickens come right to this tree line and they'll sit right along here so we're just going to bring their everything over here and build it more securely so that possums and raccoons won't drop in from above or dig in from underneath. We'll put a nice fenced in area for them to be secure at night. Plus we have black bears back there. So I don't know if I can black bear proof it, but I am going to try to proof it for coyotes, foxes, raccoons, and possums. So we're going to have to move this trailer too out of the way most likely. This well, in John's um, little shed that he built, we're going to take that down at some point too because the insects have been eating. No, 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 no. Yeah. No, no. Insects no, no, have been eating no. his post like he would not. I'm eating. going to pick the nose. Pick <laughs> no, the nose. No, no. We are. We're going to be getting rid of this too. So things will shape up in the next two years. That's our plan. 2018, moving forward making things a little bit more aesthetically pleasing. I don't know how we're going to get rid of all that styrofoam. I guess put it underneath the building. I'm not sure. But anyway. Um, Sometimes I just want to take her head and go. But no. Anyway. And he's the one who changed his mind this time. I let him go through the whole deal. And thanks to Frenchie. Love you, Frenchie. Now we have a runway for the new house uh, addition. Then that little guy is going to come right here. Mm -hmm. And then our solar panels and other things. We're going to build some buildings and stuff over there so that we can block part of the view so we don't have to see neighbors and other buildings and stuff. We just get to see our own stuff. John's puckered at the idea of change, but he's doing better. So we have today, fairly mild. Tomorrow, almost 60 degrees. Thursday, possibility of rain 50% what that means here during our dry spell I mean I'd like rain but then I wouldn't because we need to build but I'll take it and then Friday it drops back into the 20s for the highs and in you know below five degrees for the low so we'll be done with this for about a week and then we can start back up again uh, so if we're fortunate by Valentine's Day We'll have a building here, and the trailer moved here, and John will, he will have unpuckered from buying new copper line and new packs. Yes. He will have made it through. We'll, we'll prove it. And what do we have to do with the tractor today? We're going to fill the holes that we already dug. Yeah. So all that work. Take this out. Making effort. holes. We're going to fill the holes. You, you just got to go through a process with men, don't you, ladies? To finally get him to come around to a more um, thoughtful way of thinking. Right, honey? I don't think so. It'd be easier if you listen to your wife closer to the first time. I do listen. Selectively. Later <laughs> on. Uh. But I like this plan. This plan is going to be great. Further back, nobody can see us off the road. It's going to be awesome right here. Plus still a great view. And then our little house right there. Because 
this will turn into guest quarters and John's office and possibly his movie room. Our little 14 by 14 living area will be the TV area and guest bedroom, bathroom. Office. Office in his TV room. Yeah. He'll got to figure that out. Yeah. Well. Back to work, baby. Back to work. Say goodbye to the... Say goodbye to the little holes. The ducks will be happy. All right, time to fill them. Okay. John and Crazy Kelly with Off Grid Homesteading signing off for this episode. See ya. Oh, not crazy, magical, magical Kelly. Yeah, sure. Okay, bye guys.